In a quiet corner of the galaxy lies the dim glow of a red dwarf star. Its surface flickers with slow, steady pulses, hinting at immense power. A compact system of planets clusters around this ancient sun. One of these planets stands out. Proxima B. Unlike Earth, it doesn't rotate in the usual sense. Its day side basks under constant light, while the night side is forever dark. Solar flares erupt from the star, blasting radiation across space. The planet's thick magnetic field shields it from the worst of these bursts. Seen from orbit, the day side glows orange red and the night side rests in dusky shadow. Somewhere between these extremes, life finds a foothold. Proxima B is slightly smaller than Earth, but its core is incredibly dense. This gives it a gravity close to what humans would find tolerable. A band of swirling clouds marks the border between scorching day and freezing night. Hurricane force winds shift dust, water vapor, and airborne spores across this boundary. Lightning forks across the sky, illuminating both molten deserts and glacial plains. In the twilight zone, rivers fed by melting ice snake through rocky valleys. Geothermal vents steam in the frigid darkness, providing pockets of warmth. Volcanoes erupt on the edge of the sunlit side, forming new terrain over time. Storms here rage without end, blending hot air and cold air into thunderous chaos. Yet amidst this turmoil, diverse ecosystems have taken root. Massive dust devils tear across the dayside, swirling into pillars of light and shadow. Cracked lava fields gleam with embers under the perpetual sun. On the night side, canyons of ice creak and groan, shifting under tidal stresses. Subglacial lakes form where volcanic heat seeps upward, carving hollow chambers. At the twilight zone, steep cliffs act as natural windbreaks for fragile plant-like growth. Bioluminescent fungi cluster in dark crevices, creating glowing patterns at dusk. Rocky arches and spires tower above river chasms, shaped by relentless storms. Dust carried from the dayside forms fertile soil along the Terminator line. Occasional meteor strikes blast craters into both ice and lava. Here evolution unfolds in extraordinary ways, giving rise to remarkable creatures. Atmospheric Drifters High above the twilight clouds drift giant balloon-like organisms. Their translucent bodies shimmer with faint iridescence under the red dwarf's glow. Hydrogen sacs keep them afloat, gently pulsing as they move with the wind. Long tendrils collect microscopic spores and moisture from the cloud layers. Clusters of nerve-like nodes help them detect changes in air pressure. Subtle color shifts ripple across their surface when they communicate with each other. Occasionally, lightning illuminates entire colonies drifting across the sky. They reproduce by releasing spore-like droplets that rise into the higher atmosphere. Some drifters wander too close to the dayside, where intense heat can scorch them. Most remain in the safety of the twilight, sustained by gentle currents. Under rocky plains near the Terminator line, hides a swift, subterranean creature. Burrowing Stalkers They carve vast tunnel systems, emerging only when the temperature is safe. Seasonal extremes force their bodies to grow hardened armor across their backs. Serrated claws dig through stone and soil, forging new passages. Heat-sensitive pits on their snouts guide them to prey on the surface. Some rare species of burrowing stalkers use a flick of their tail to paralyze smaller creatures with venom-tipped spines. They retreat underground at the slightest sign of danger, vanishing in seconds. When threatened, they can seal off tunnels, creating air pockets for survival. Generations of burrowing stalkers have shaped the twilight terrain from below. Along riverbanks carved by glacial meltwaters dwell cunning amphibious predators. Shadow Scale Predators their sleek bodies blend with dark currents, revealing only reflective eyes at night. Translucent fin-like limbs help them glide through swirling rapids. Shimmering stripes along their backs emit patterns of light to lure prey. 
A specialized jaw can clamp onto slippery fish-like organisms in seconds. They can leap onto land briefly, stalking small reptiles or scavenging carrion. Their vocalizations echo through river canyons, a haunting melody in the dusk. Breeding pairs guard submerged nests, fiercely defending their eggs. In the thick of howling winds, agile flyers ride the turbulent skies. Storm gliders. Broad wing-like membranes catch updrafts created by drastic temperature shifts. Sharp talons clamp onto spires or cliff faces when resting. Static receptors along their wings sense incoming lightning strikes. Their feathers or scales reflect the orange glow of the dayside, making them appear aflame. Storm gliders prey on airborne insects or smaller drifters, pursuing them in daring aerial chases. They nest along heated vents and sheer canyon walls where predators rarely venture. During fierce storms, they perform synchronized flights, possibly for mating displays. Their calls resonate like distant thunder, echoing above the roaring wind. When lightning illuminates the cloudscape, they become ghostly silhouettes against the sky. Venturing into the frozen depths of the nightside uncovers silent glacial caverns. Ice Lurkers Here ice lurkers dwell, adapted to sub-zero darkness. Thick, translucent exoskeletons trap heat, shielding delicate organs. Long antennae detect the faint warmth of geothermal vents far below. They move slowly across slick ice, using barbed limbs to maintain traction. Ice lurkers weave a near-invisible web across the ice, a sensory network that detects geothermal heat and hidden prey. Vibrations ripple through the strands, guiding them to their next hunt in the frozen darkness. When they find a heat source, they cluster around it, basking in rare warmth. Slow metabolisms let them go months without food, conserving precious energy. Some ice lurkers keep tiny glowing bacteria in specialized pouches for minimal light. Their silent domain is a realm of faint echoes and crystallized air. Beneath the relentless glow of the Red Dwarf, heat striders roam the scorched wastelands. Heat striders. Their towering, mirror-like heads reflect the intense light, casting blinding beams across the terrain. This reflective surface serves as both a defense mechanism and a tool for survival. By angling their mirrors, they signal potential mates in the distance. The flashes of light create an intricate language only heat striders understand. The intense heat melts fungal growth, revealing burrowing insects behind. With precise timing, they use their long, spade-like limbs to scoop up their prey. During the hottest hours, they crouch in the shadows of volcanic rock to avoid overheating. As night approaches, they journey toward geothermal vents, absorbing lingering warmth. Wherever life takes root, it finds a path, no matter how extreme the conditions. They push the limits of survival, thriving where few dare to tread. Our exploration of Proxima B ends here, but many more wonders remain among the stars. Thank you for joining this journey into the depths of a world suspended between fire and ice. If you enjoyed this voyage, leave a like, share the mystery, and subscribe for more expeditions into the unknown. And if you know a world that deserves to be discovered, let me know in the comments.